We did speak with a local veteran who started a nonprofit. He told us how sad these numbers are and what he believes can help stop more service members from making this choice. It's a dark but well-known problem, one that can be difficult to talk about, military suicide. Unfortunately, knowing what we know about this community, that's not that surprising. Our job doesn't allow us to process sadness all the time, right? We have to stay focused. Look at how easy this is. Donnie O'Malley is a Marine veteran and the CEO of Vet TV. Especially the veteran community is that social isolation leads to depression and is a common denominator in, su in veteran suicides. In the era of the coronavirus, forced self-isolation is what Army and Air Force officials say they believe is a big reason why military suicides are up 20% compared to the same time last year. It's, it's going to make their mental health worse if they're not finding ways to get around um, the physical isolation that they're experiencing. As part of a wounded warrior battalion, he saw many veterans struggle with mental health and lost his own friend, Art, to suicide. Artist that uh, suicide had hit me. Seeing his friend being buried motivated him to start Vet TV. What I saw amongst this group of, of combat wounded warriors was the usage of comedy to get themselves through every day. And I saw that throughout my entire military experience using comedy to get through any situation that's painful. A nonprofit with one mission. It was to facilitate connection amongst veterans with shared experiences. While the Associated Press says the data is incomplete, military leaders believe violent incidents among service members have increased also due to war zone deployments, national disasters, and civil unrest. O'Malley firmly believes the key to cutting down those numbers is creating a space where vets feel safe and can lean on each other. To create bonds and friendships and connections, to build community.